the ferry awaits Campbelltown to Odrossen, so we are on our way. It's that time again, leaving Frogmore House, where our friends Chris and Selima live. Right, sorted. Next stop, Heathrow. Where's the plane, Chris? I thought there was supposed to be a plane on this roundabout. You Who knows? You should, maybe it's the other side. Hang on. Is it here? Yay! Plane! Right, different <laughs> one though. Got Concorde. Bags of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they charge five pounds to be dropped off. What else are you going to do? How would you get here without being dropped off? Yeah. Hope they make it to the other side. See? Let's go and find out what it is. <laughs> anyway. We are at London Heathrow duty free. Is there going to be anything good? Do we want to go that way? Well, Cooper does apparently, but we do not. No, we don't. Do we want to go this way? Yes. Some Chivas. Right, where? Let's scope it out. We've got gin, vodka. Mm, oh, fancy, fancy. Over there, most of the whiskey's over there, so we'll uh, head that direction, I think. Finish on the fancy bottles. What's Glen going? I don't recognize them. Duty free versions, I imagine. Mm, Glen Grant. Jura. What Jura do we have? Let's see. Now, a lot of these are litre bottles, remember. A litre of Bal Blair for 37? Rock and Torsion? Hmm. Maybe not. Glengarry? Oh, good. Good selection, even on just the outer aisle so far. Okay, what's Jura? All these weird duty free expressions, I guess. Uh, oh! Tempting. Ta -ta -cairn. What is 6.4? Roy liked it. Okay, Johnny Walker. What have we got? Did I miss any more Irish around the corner? Let's have a look. Yes, I did. Sixteen year. What's the ABV? Only forty percent though. What a shame. And Twenty-one is also forty percent. See the ten. Wow, that's uh, quite bright orange. <laughs> Alright, let's go and look at some others. Hi there, <laughs> I'll keep you out of it. I see more Craig I wonder if they've got a 23 anywhere. That would be good. Got that one already. Okay, what's Bonner? What Bonner do we have? Frau Mona. Probably pronounced that wrong. Both the same, yes. 
Okay, where? Oh, hang on. Whiskey? That's not whiskey. It is whiskey. Well, a 23 year Beaumore. And it's 51%. And, you know, that doesn't look the normal Beaumore colour, does it? Is that ex bourbon? No idea. A limited, re limited release from the home of the legendary number one vaults. I have to investigate further. We're a fan of Craig Ellicke. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But I was surprised that you got a Beaumore 23 here. Yeah, the, uh, this is actually, uh, it's been released only in Global Travel Readers. Yeah. It's a 23 years old limited edition featuring Frank Quintaly, which is one of the artists cooperating yeah. with uh, Marvel and, it, and DC. It doesn't look like it's got that much, if any, artificial color in which Beaumore no, is normally dark. Does Normally, it say what kind of casks yes, this is? Yes, absolutely. This is one is featuring the yeah. European oak. It's finishing a, a French barrique. Okay. Called, exactly, it's called... Um, what is, what is, what is... Um, and second, I yeah. had the information here. I have one bottle of this at home in my collection. It's oh, you good, do? Yeah, it's oh, nice. uh, one of uh, 6,666, very limited supply. So is it mostly ex-bourbon and then finished? In another uh, French oak cask. Yeah. So it's um, uh, the French barrique, still oak yeah. cask. So it's is a wine finish? Uh, no, no wine finish. In this case will be... Um, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me give you this information. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, so matured in American oaks hogsheads, so that's probably ex bourbon. Yes. That's to create this, okay. And then two years in Essentia Barriques. Essentia, which is uh, so a rose oak that can be traced back to the 1800s. So it doesn't say what that oak was used for before. No, they don't mention that. A barrique. Essentia Could be sherry? from the number one volt bottle at that 51.5 so yeah, yeah it's a feature yeah. Of it's a cask strength probably natural color yeah it is it is a natural color 6666 yeah. is the total supply there is an sign by the artist this is actually no inside there is and sign so to pay straight on the right hand side uh, there is a 32 years old version which is only 666 bottles around the world and the cheap uh, very cheap one no 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 i think it's around uh, 2500 <laughs> yeah uh, in that case the signature is actually by hand ah, okay. and each uh, each um, uh, product is coming with uh, his own number nice uh, this is a 353 we we'll provide yeah. 10 pound off in our store not too bad. No, no, not too bad. This is a collecting, uh, it's a collectible. We but, only drink. But in the meantime, <laughs> I actually believe it's going to be a great sweet smoke. Yeah. So you have a sweet, um, sweetness first and yeah. then the, the dry pit start to build. Nice. Uh, you know, it's a lovely, lovely smoke. Yeah, it's nice to see uh, more looking like a nat one, natural. Yeah, I think that we have a lot of whiskeys in our checked in luggage already. Very traveling. So you're going back to San Francisco. Ah, okay, what have we got? It's called the Caperdoni, what yeah. we call Secret of Space Side. It's yeah. actually a uh, lost distillery. I was going to say, it's Caperdoni's closed, isn't it? Yes, yeah. they closed in 2002. This is the remaining stock. So it's a stock. 21 year. 21 years old, maturing in a first Felix bourbon cask, oh, 100%. Nice. Uh, it's incredible. Um, vanilla, banana, yeah. coconut. So ex, ex bourbon. Ex bourbon comes in. For, oh yeah, first it. first fill American oak. Uh, and this no chill filter, so 48. Yeah, and 48. ABV, linger in a, an amazing way. Uh, they won on that year when they launched the uh, Capardonic range. They won a gold medal, I believe, with a 25 years old pitted right. version. Um, but I actually and tried this is unpeated. Unpeated. Yeah. I tried this so sweet, so smooth, and the way it's unbelievable. You don't have this in the States, 
I believe it's a travel exclusive yeah, and available in Whiskey Exchange, yeah. where it's going to be way more expensive. Yeah. So, How much is it here uh, then? It's uh, 219, but Two, we provide... 219? We provide 10 pounds off and uh, 209 in Agreed. something like this. This is like you investing in gold. Yeah. Look at the color. That's this. looking nice. We do like ex-bourbon, older ex-bourbon. All right, I'm going to keep looking around. Take your time, sir. Take your time. Thanks for showing us. Right, what else do we have? Yeah, we have a little whiskey channel. Whiskey mystery, you can find us. Yeah. Got to do a bit of advertising for the channel. Not bad, not bad for a, a liter of Talisker. Glen Morangy, 16. Are you? You want to see yourself? Okay, let's make sure hey, you're hello, in. Hello. <laughs> what was your name? Prague. Prague. Yeah, nice come, I'll you. give you another taste. Oh, we're gonna we're going to taste something. Yeah. Um, 18 years is really nice. Sweet, mellow, really easy on the this palate. Is, this is breakfast. Right, yeah. Always a good break. Do you want to come here, them? Yeah. Just you can pour one of each. We'll share it. All right. So this one is 10. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Are these both Okay, a little bit more ABV on the 18, 43%. 18 is my, one of my favorite. Okay. Don't drink it all. You need to save some for me. <laughs> this guy is a master blender. Ah. So he's a master Cheers. blender of uh, Bendria. <laughs> master blender. Yeah. You don't want water for your boyfriend or not? Which one are you trying? That's the 10. The 10 yeah. Quite savory, purple. Yeah, there's more coming off the 18. Hmm. It's classic, isn't it? It's very mellow. It's a classic space cider. I don't know what it is. Yeah, more on the 18. Also, it's just really, really small, very easy to open. Yeah. Mm. You see, you like it? Okay. Deep. Yeah. Deeper. No, put on. Mmm. Yeah. It's very uh, oaky. A little more oaky then. Let's go back. How is your breakfast? Mmm. <laughs> Good breakfast. Longer finish. Very nice. Very good. Yeah. Right, we better go back to looking at the shelves. We haven't even got around them all yet. That's right. It's nice to be interrupted for a taste. What? What? I forgot where Glendeveron comes from. Isn't it another distillery or is it a blended malt? Or is it actually a distillery Glendeveron? So the Glendeveron we were just trying, 104 for the 18 and... 37 on the 10. <laughs> Exposure is always off on labels. I don't know why. Glenfiddich at 73. Lagavulin in 10. 43%. Uh, Looking for anything new. I don't think we've seen Ben Riek before. 60 on the 10 year old. Some Jura, a 21 year Jura. 159. Let's see, Highland Park 18. Isn't that the higher ABV version? 46%. Dark Storm and the 10, I think we saw that. Do we blow by McAllen or do you want to see them? Let's see, 150 on the Terra, 403 on the rare cask. Enigma 229, Lumina 92, Quest 67. Let's see, Lagable in 10, what's Kalila 12? 40 on that. Open 14. Oh, that's a good price. That's what we like to hear. Independent whiskey buying. 
Okay, let's see where we are here. Got some Glendronics. Oh, a 16. I don't think I've seen a Glendronic 16 before. It's a very nice whiskey, you know? Yeah, 16 is, I guess it's uh, travel retail. It's well, this 16 years old, let's we do a little bit thing about it. Yeah. This is 16 years old. Now, when we're talking about Glen, yeah. all the Glen, they are top 10. Like we mentioned Glen Fiddy, Glen Morangi, Glen yeah. Drunach, some Glen. I've had, I've had so, the 18 before. Yeah, the 18 exists, yeah, but this is different than any other Glen. Yeah. Drunach and the splinchy wine. One is mature 16 years old. When we're talking about the barrel being mature, the old Toros and cherry cask, okay, so it's giving a little bit of toffee and dark chocolate. When we oh, blend these two barrels with the well. portu, yeah, we okay. give a lot of more fig and sultana at the end. So yeah. a lot of toffee, dark chocolate things at the end. Also, a lot other few barrels. So it's so a, a triple a triple cask then, PX, Oloroso uh, and port cask. Four, four. And plus this. Yeah. Okay. So, the oh, colour nice. is a beautiful Oh yeah, it is a little, well. it is a little, little pinker yeah. than normal. Yeah. Well, there you go. This a, a different whiskey to have, you know, and strawberry tail exclusive as well. Right. Very rare. We're less, less cherry fans and more ex-bourbon, but it's unusual to see that one. I haven't seen that one before. What else do we have of interest? See, Glengoyne 15. That's a PX cask as well. 48%, $100. Old Courtney 10, is that a normal bottle? A liter of a 10 year Old Courtney. Hmm, okay. King Alexander, 153. Tamdu, 14 year old. There's lots of odd ages. Okay, Artbeg 10, one liter, 52 pounds. I know I'm probably saying dollars sometimes, but you know it's all pounds. Well, that's not a cheap Feta Cairn, is it? But it is 28 years old and, oh, 42%. Loch Lomond. Oh, hey, some Camel Town. Okay, it's a Glen Scotia what? Glen Scotia, well, it's one litre, it's 46%, it looks fairly ex bourbon -y. I don't think we're going to find any Springbank, but you know. <laughs> oh, nice to see Ardmore Legacy. I think we got these before. What's Ugadala? Curry Brecon, decent price. 50 for Ugadal. Oh, more 10. Hibiki Harmony is what? 67. What's that? Is that Baiju? Baiju? Or something else? Saki? No, Baiju. Don't know. Oh, uh, I guess we're not. There's no whiskey in the glass cabinet? Or is there? There is. Right. 36k. On the 1969 50 year or more. Also, not very dark. <laughs> the Macallan M, 4100. We have a Glenmorangie 1995, only 668. I'm not sure how old it is, but obviously uh, oldish. Does it say at the top? I don't see it offhand. 2425 for Royal Salute. Old blend, presumably. Tom and Towel, 40 year old, 2600. Oh, Craigalicky. Okay, let's see, what have we got? The 33 year old, 2100. I'm not sure what the, li the little, oh, is that just the Glen Cairn glass? And then what's this one? It's exceptional cask. Oh, it's, I see. It's the 39 year old, 3400. And it is a cask of what? Mm, can't quite see it. It's 51%. Distilled notes. A refill. Hmm, what is it? Though? Can't see what cask it is. Let's see. Charred pineapple dipped in uh, something delicate. Oak toasted cereal. Well, refill hogshead, I guess. It, does it mention sherry though? 
could it be ex bourbon? Now, oh, a 40 year feta cone, 2451. Make sure we don't miss the flight. <laughs> 2600 pounds, not dollars. Glenfiddich, more like 26 at 1500. A 40 year Highland Park at 2000. And what else is up here? Little Mill. 3,100 on the Little Mill. Nice that you, you get a taster. So you can always taste it without opening the main bottle. <laughs> Looks like Deepa wants the Craig Ellicky. Well, find out when we unpack the bags if Deepa bought the Craig Ellicky 33 for 2,100 pounds. Okay, bags arrived, good sign. Now go and declare. We'll see you on the other side. So we declared it and again we've got wave through. Almost there. Right, well, looks like they all made it.